Waukesha strong. An emotional day in Waukesha as the community comes together to remember the victims of that parade tragedy a year ago. We have team coverage tonight from Waukesha. Let's begin with NBC 15's Elizabeth Wattis, who listened in on a remembrance ceremony this afternoon. Yeah, John, I'm here live at Cutler Park and um, church music just started up a few minutes ago, really setting the tone for what we saw at the ceremony earlier today when hundreds, probably over a thousand people filled this area by Les Paul Performance Center. They started the day with a moment of silence. They took a minute to remember the six lives lost one year ago. Then we heard from the mayor who commended the community for being Waukesha strong every day for the past year. We also heard from Governor Tony Evers. He let the community know that they aren't just going through this together, that the entire state of Wisconsin is with them as well. And we also heard from the fire chief, the police chief as well, and then a local priest who shared just how strong this community is. Take a listen. The other adage is God doesn't give us any more than we can handle. Well, that's true. But God doesn't give us any more than we can handle with the help of family and faith and friends. And that's what we celebrate today. Well, I was listening to the speech. Our Colton Molesky was talking with people. And Colton, you talked with a woman who said she wouldn't have missed today for anything. Elizabeth, I was able to speak with one of the members of the dancing grannies in attendance today. And, you know, they were telling me that they were here to remember the several members of their group that they lost last year during the tragedy that happened at the Waukesha Christmas Parade. And when I was speaking with them, they noted that they were able to get through the last year by leaning on each other as a group and on the Waukesha community. And now they were returning a year later for some closure. It feels like um, we're rounding a, a first big chapter. This first year has been about survival and figuring this out and, and how do we take next steps. I was able to have a long conversation with that group. Elizabeth, we'll have more from them coming up at 10. All right, Colton, thank you. And just the first weekend of December, this Waukesha Christmas Parade is living on despite that tragedy one year ago, that parade again, the first weekend in December. But for now, live in Cutler Park on the one year anniversary of the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy, I'm Elizabeth Wattis. Back to you. Elizabeth Colton, thank you. Well, Governor Tony Evers released a statement reflecting on this anniversary, saying, quote, as we remember this tragic event, we also reflect on those first responders, community leaders, and neighbors who ran toward danger to help.